Whenever you bring well-educated, articulate B'nai Torah into a community, what you're able to achieve is create friendships, peer groups, role models that really can transform a community. We're here as facilitators of learning, as agents of inspiration. We'll offer educational Torah opportunities in schools and in shuls. We have amazing inspirational programs in people's homes, and it's for all kinds of people. It's really created a community of learning. Even if it's not intellectually through learning, also through uh, chesed opportunities, uh, doing uh, volunteer work in the community, helping others, and really just creating this atmosphere of friendship through learning and also through growing as people. Creating those connections is amazing. It's opening the doors, making sure that we're reaching out to make that Torah accessible. If we want to create a dynamic and vibrant community of learning, obviously you have to start with our kids. From the Parshan Pizza and the Saturday Night Program at Kilach uh, Ovetzion, there's tremendous opportunity for children to grow as uh, Jews with the Kolo. We have regular programming that takes place with Hello Torah and Ari Crown and Yeshiva and the Academy. The students are really gaining from dynamic, hands-on experiences that are educational but not necessarily part of their regular curriculum. Rabbi Brand and the Kolo members have have exciting personalities. They really understand these boys. The boys really immediately can feel that electricity that comes from Rabbi Brand and the other members of the Kolo. Through the Kolo, we've been able to bring really outstanding staff members to our school. It's really helped raise the level of learning and teaching at Hillel Torah. Whether it's Base Medrash on Wheels, the Holocaust Awareness Program that we are doing in the school, it's another opportunity, it's another door. For them to walk through, that just adds to what we're trying to do at Airy Crown. The uh, enthusiasm and the excitement uh, that is generated by the Kolel in terms of its uh, shiurim and its programs and its uh, projects is simply infectious. There are one-on-one -on -one learning opportunities. You have Chabura, small group learning. You have opportunities for men. You have opportunities for women. You have opportunities for both even working with Libenu and Yachad to make sure that really everyone has an opportunity to be part of the Kolo. I particularly enjoy Rabbi Brand's Sunday morning shear. We also really enjoy the involvement of the Kolo in the community. It's really heartwarming to be a part of a learning community, uh, which inspires each of us, I think, to improve the level of our learning. The energy that is suffused throughout all the programs that we do comes from the learning that takes place in the base medrash every single day. One of the critical components to our learning is Torah Eretz Yisrael. Having the Israeli shlichim as part of our base medrash so enhances that mission and our learning in general. We feel this is our unique mission to come to Chicago and to speak about Torah Eretz Yisrael. We want to bring our spirits, our lives into the Kolel. There is a level of about us and our spirit, there is a level from, from us to the college, and there is a level from us to the community. Having the talent and the dynamism of our Kolo fellows, even just as a community member sitting next to you in shul, is really transformational. Neely and MCJL, the Midwest Center for Jewish Learning, are two core components of what the Kolo is about. Midwest Center for Jewish Learning is enabling people who haven't had the opportunity to be exposed to the community of learning that we're celebrating here in Chicagoland. Specifically, we have this unique program here in Chicago called Jewish Learning Together, where we actually pair up members of the Jewish community who aren't necessarily cut from the same cloth. And what's amazing in terms of the Kolel growth is that it's not the people that have typically gone to Kolel programming and getting people that would not have known about the Kolel into a Kolel program is what Rabbi Brand is doing at the museum as well. In 1906, he a Working with the Holocaust Museum, we're able to share the Torah with docents and volunteers in the museum, thinking about spiritual resistance through the lens of a Torah lifestyle. It's been very successful. I mean, people look forward to it. I get emails all the time from docents who, who don't even know what the Kolel is, eagerly are waiting for the next time Rabbi Brand is coming to speak. In terms of Neely, 
we are able to provide Torah opportunities for women in a way that is really unique. Everything that we offer is content rich, whether it's for older women or for younger girls. We try to make it real and exciting and engaging for everyone involved. They bring a variety of programming to the community. They have the Women's Health Forum, they have weekly shiurim, they have a seasonal shiurim, and they really try to bring Torah to every woman in the community. One of the most important initiatives of Neely has been the Neely Tower and Hamishpacha Hotline, a confidential and anonymous hotline that can be accessed via phone, email, and web form. The Hotline is part of a broader initiative to bring Tower to Mishpacha education to women. It's really 24-6, as they say, so that when they have a question, they can get an answer. One of the things that Neely's trying to do as we grow is to expand the number of women and girls that we reach by starting an intergenerational learning program for women and girls called Neely Midor Lador. You know, what was really great about the program was how engaged the girls were, how engaged the women were with each other, with the learning, and it was just a lot of fun. The women in the city definitely feel as though this is something that you know kind of belongs to them. It is empowering to know that the Wayukolal is preparing programs specifically with the needs and the interests of women in mind. The Kolal provides such an awesome synthesis of different aspects of Jewish life. But the part that I most cherish about it is the friendships and the relationships that I've forged through that. These people are not just chavruses, not just learning partners, but they're really lifetime friends. Our kolo created a certain warmth and a certain welcoming atmosphere that opened up these opportunities to an entire community. Whether it's in the Beit Midrash, whether it's in people's homes, whether it's in the synagogues, the kolo opened that door for us. Kolal isn't just a place where you learn. The people who are in the Kolal are the best representation of our community. I don't know how we could measure the impact that the Kolal is having. It's wonderful to be that glue that brings so many people together. It's very special. Their presence is ubiquitous and their influence is immense. The Kolel is uh, simply a tremendous, a vibrant force for this community. There's a really powerful impact that the Kolel has, and the door is always open. It just takes the motivation to walk through.